Well, that's it. Bags are packed, uh, sorted the house out, dinner's all ready for everybody for the rest of um, today and next couple of days. Uh, and I'm about to um, get in the car and go to Exeter. Uh, I'm not going to see them now for the rest of the week. And then, um, as I said before, I've now got three weeks of being away and uh, yeah, just work stuff really. So um, next time I speak to you, I'll probably be in a hotel room in Exeter. And here we are. I have arrived in my generic, uh, nondescript, a hotel room and a home for the next three weeks, uh, barring weekends, of course. Um, so yeah, actually with that in mind, I, I think I'm going to um, sit myself on my chaise lounge, uh, come children's bed here, uh, to talk to you. So obviously I, I've been trying to uh, update my vlog kind of every other day and kind of keep up to date with all the current things that are going on. Now at home that's no issues and there's kind of plenty of interesting things going on at home that are hopefully interesting for you to watch. Um, but while I'm here I am pretty much working um, all throughout the day and then obviously in the evening if the light's still here I might get a chance to go out. Now the EV news never stops and I, I'm sure that there'll always be stuff for me to talk about but I'm doubtful whether I'm going to be able to continue every other day. So it might be that um, every three days or uh, I do twice a week just for the next few weeks while I'm uh, away from home. And then once I get back home and into my normal routine, I can pick it up again kind of where we've been anyway. So uh, hopefully I can keep them interesting because that's my concern. What I don't want to do is try and do one every other day, which ends up just me sat here in my hotel room talking about EVs. Uh, uh, that would bore me and I'm sure you'd get bored as well. Now as for today, what I really wanted to update you with was um, kind of a hangover from my last video. So last time I test drove the Hyundai Ioniq and um, if you watch that you'll see that it was a really impressive car and it's certainly, it's it's a step forward from the current Nissan Leaf and uh, yeah, without doubt I would buy one um, and I had you know a few niggly negative points about it but um, on the whole uh, really positive and um, I couldn't say enough good things about it. What I didn't cover on that video was um, the kind of the current costs and uh, the wait times. I might have mentioned it slightly but ultimately there's stuff that I didn't want to say on that video because if you watch that video in six weeks, six months time it wouldn't be relevant. So uh, you know this is back to kind of my vlog which it does become more relevant now and it's relevant because affects my decision making on, making on whether I'm going to buy one. Now Westover where I test drove it from they've said there is a six month waiting list. Now uh, I've heard reports of it being longer than that but that's what they told me while I was there and there's no reason for me not to believe them. Uh, they also did some figures for me. Now obviously I, I can't make a, a direct comparison to my current leaf because I bought that over two years ago. It's a 24 kilowatt hour leaf you know, there's no point in me trying to compare it to that. What I'd like is the monthly payments to be the same. That would be where I'd like to be. Um, you know, without going around the houses, they're not. But what I did while I was there is I asked them to do me a, um, a PCP costing based on the same principles as my current PCP. So £1,000 deposit uh, over four years. Uh, what are the monthly costs you can do for that? Oh, and 10,000 mile mileage. To say it came out expensive would be an understatement. Now, the salesman, before he even got them, he said to me, it, it will be expensive. Now, it was nearly £500 a month. Now, I know that I haven't haggled with him. I, I'm sure there's some ways of getting that down. But ultimately, that is the base figure. Um, I think list price is smidgen over £30,000. So pretty much £30,000. That's the same as the current 30 kilowatt hour leaf. So if you just do a side by side comparison, there isn't one. The, the Ionic every time I would go for. However, Nissan at the moment have got a number of incentives. They've got scrappage scheme, they put in towards a deposit for you. Uh, and when you start adding these things on, uh, because Westover also own a, a Nissan franchise, he was able to do a direct comparison for me and said, if you were to buy the uh, Leaf Techna, so the top spec one, which is the one that you're going to get closest to the um, premium SE Ionic, um, it worked out £150 a month cheaper, even though the list price is exactly the same. So, you know, based on that, 
if I didn't own an EV at the moment and I was looking to buy one and money was you know, a real issue, which yeah, let, let's be honest, it is for most people. Um, I don't think the Ionic is £150 a month better than the Leaf. It's definitely a better car, but that's a lot of money, an awful lot of money. So uh, based on that, I would be back looking at the Leaf again. Uh, so that was just really interesting. As I say, that could change tomorrow. It could change in six weeks, six months. That's, you know, there's no point in discussing that as a, you know, this is what it costs. It's just that's a snapshot from yesterday when they gave me the, the information. So I just wanted to share it with you because I thought it was quite interesting. And when I um, spoke to the salesman in Hyundai and said, you know, how can you compete with the Leaf with that? That seems to be a, you know, that is a massive difference. Uh, his answer was it's selling. We cannot sell them quick enough. So, you know, it's economies of scale, isn't it? At the end of the day, if there's a demand there, sell it for the price you can sell it for. And you can't fall out with them for that. It was also really interesting because while I was there, there was another salesman who um, obviously had a bit of a personal interest in EVs. Um, and he, he basically wanted to chat about them. Uh, long story short, we got around to talking about the way that people are influenced to move from ICE cars to EV cars and how important the test drive is. Obviously, if you've seen the previous videos, you know sort of what a palaver it was, basically me getting into that car for a test drive. Um, certainly anything more than 20 minutes anyway. Uh, and I made that point. And I explained, you know, when you go to see Nissan, they'll let you have the car for three or four days and you really see that that car can fit into your life and um, if it works for you. I said, have you thought about doing that with your Ionic? And he said, uh, no, to be honest, the 24 hours that they gave me was quite unusual and it was something they had to, to talk to the manager about. Um, and he was of the same opinion. Well, why would we? We're selling more than we can supply. They said, you know, we need that car to allow people to go out and test drive it. So if we give it to somebody for four days, then we miss a number of customers being allowed to test drive it. And either way, we've got more orders than we can supply. So I was a little bit disappointed with that. The, the salesman seemed genuinely keen on EVs and really wanted to push them. But I still think there's that little bit of lack of understanding about how we actually get people out of ICE cars and into EVs. And um, you know, it worked for me and most of the other people that I have kind of spoken to and who have gone on and bought uh, an EV, the only reason they bought it is because they were allowed to have it generally from Nissan for three or four days and it proved to them that it fits into their life and the the mileage which is always a concern even when you start talking about 120 130 miles people still don't think that's far enough but when you drive it for four days you realize absolutely it is you don't need any more unless your commute is you know vastly greater than that and um hopefully the next nissan leaf will address that but uh yeah so a little bit disappointing from them uh about their kind of little bit of lack of understanding around selling them and um, certainly about the price uh, and ultimately that is what's put me off buying one uh, otherwise you know if that had competed with certainly with my current leaf I would have been signing on the dotted line yesterday but uh, yeah so there's there's my kind of update and thoughts on yesterday's video and uh, as I say the next few days we'll see how it pans out there's um plenty of news and plenty of things happening at the moment so I'm, I'll be talking about those and I'll see if I can get out of this um box and we'll maybe pop into town and I just want to get out and about and um, I might show you around if I get a chance. We'll see how the, the next few days of work pan out. But um, for now, thanks for watching. And um, uh, if you're not doing so already, please uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you've enjoyed today's vlog, then um, remember to like and share it. And uh, I'll speak to you again soon. Take care.